In this episode today, I want to talk about uh, the tragedy and the the events following uh, Kobe Bryant's uh, death and that that whole situation. Um, I, I'm not a big sports person. I don't, I don't really follow sports, um, but but there is like I do like to follow some people in sports, and and, and the reason why is. Uh, I, I, as a musician, as me as a content, as me as a content creator, I like to follow people that give back uh, to their community or to to the community in general. Either if that's a YouTuber helping out other YouTubers, a musician meeting and supporting younger musicians, um, or or even uh, uh, athletes, anyone in sports, uh, helping out other people in sports um, whether it's the same I I industry or cross it like whatever that is and, and, and I I remember Kobe Bryant was just so out there I, I remember I, I've been watching some stuff recently in the news and um, and back um, when when he was when he was playing and doing a bunch of like charity events and stuff and he seemed to give back a lot um, he seemed to really care about his his community in LA and wherever he was playing um, and I, it's it's something that it, it's almost hard to like. I, when I first saw the the, the headlines, I, I actually saw it on my phone. I saw it on on a TMZ put out an article, and my first instinct was like, "Man, TMZ is really fighting for content here." And then uh, another friend of mine posted it from I think it was like a Fox News or. Uh, or, or a Fox News affiliate um, uh, website, and I'm just like, man, people are really pushing for content these days. It just isn't political, but they're trying to find. And then everyone else started posting it, and I'm like, oh my god, is this real? I started to do my own research real quick. This happened all within a matter of five minutes, um, and, and and I figured out it was true, and I and I felt really bad, and I I, I knew that like. Just something in me was like there. Ha there had to been a pilot. There had to been other people. Who are these other? And that's like, I felt bad for uh, Kobe, and I'm like, who else is? And my mind started racing. And one of the first things came to mind was, we're never guaranteed tomorrow. Um, and I think that's why I like vlogging so much. Is I get to live every day and leave an impression every day on this platform. And I. We, I know, just you, I know. Don't follow sports, but I, from the people that I talk to, and I have a lot of people who are huge Kobe fans and huge sports fans in general. I, I know he left a lasting impression on a lot of people, um, and I, I, I love that. That makes me like so happy that a, a person's job essentially is to grab a ball and run back and forth on a court, but he can make that into something bigger, and something better than, than just him. Um, and I I just think that's amazing. And um, I know his daughter happened to pass um, as well in this, in this tragedy. Um, and I can't imagine what that feels like. Um, and I'm gonna put up all the names and pictures of everyone who, uh, who, who passed in this tragedy. Um, but I've been watching some stuff recently, and it, it's a lot. It, I mean, I know I, I like I, I was following him because he did some. He's just a human, human. He was such a humanitarian as well. I don't know if I'm not, probably not pronouncing that correctly, but he was just out there and doing things and supporting other. It, it just looked like he just knew how to live life. And I, I, I guess the call to action in this episode is to live life every day like you're just not going to be here tomorrow um because we're never guaranteed tomorrow um so i'm gonna end this episode here i just wanted to give my quick thoughts on it. i'm still kind of sick um that's why the, these few episodes aren't that intense and whatever but i'm still sick um i know i don't sound it but i've thrown up once today and i just I hate being sick, guys. I'm not as productive, and I hate it. So, uh, wish me, wish me luck, and hopefully I get better. And I'll see you tomorrow for another 
episode on the vlog. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but I'm still sick. Hopefully not, hopefully for better. I'll see you tomorrow.